Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to try to find the unit tangent vector for this particular position vector, t squared in the i direction plus t cubed in the j direction for when t is equal to 2. And so here we have kind of a graphic of that, not saying that particularly this is the exact function of what's there. This is just a general shape of a function, any old function. Notice we have a position vector pointing to a point on that curve and then the derivative of that position vector is then representative of the velocity of a point on that curve as a function of the parametric variable t. This could be, of course, time if it's velocity. t would presumably be time. And here would then be the unit vector, or the, the unit tangent vector, I should say. And notice that it's in the same direction as the derivative of the position vector, which could represent velocity if the parametric variable was time. So that kind of put things in perspective. We're looking for this right here, which is tangent to the curve, the unit vector meaning the unit, the length is equal to 1. And of course, then to do that, you can see where we'd have to take this vector right here, the r prime vector, the derivative of the position vector, divided by its magnitude, and that's then how the tangent or the unit tangent vector is defined. So let's go ahead and find it. So finding the derivative is relatively straightforward. We get 2t in the i direction plus 3t squared in the j direction and now we're going to have to divide that by the magnitude of that so the magnitude can be found by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the individual components so it would be the square root of 2t squared which is 4t squared plus 3t squared squared would be 9t to the fourth power well, it looks like we can factor out a t squared. So when we do that, we get a t over here. So this would be equal to 2t in the i direction plus 3t squared in the j direction divided by t times the square root of 4 plus 9t squared. So because if we take the t squared outside the radical, that just becomes t. And then notice that this t will cancel out with this t and this t. So this becomes equal to 2 in the i direction plus 3t in the j direction divided by the square root of 4 plus 9t squared. So now what we would like to do is we'd like to probably, well, anyway, let's start with that this is the general equation for the tangent unit vector as a function of the parametric variable t. So that's the general equation. Now we want to find t, the unit tangent vector, when the parametric variable is equal to 2. So let's do that over here. So now we go find the vector when t is equal to 2. So let's plug in 2 wherever we see a t. So over here that would be 2i plus 3 times 2, which is 6j, divided by the square root of 4 plus 9 times t squared, that would be 9 times 4, which is, uh, that would be 36 plus 4, that would be 40. So this is equal to 2 in the i direction plus 6 in the j direction divided by the square root of 40. Now here you can see you can factor out a 4 and take out the radical, that would be a 2. So this would be equal to 2i plus 6j divided by 2 times the square root of 10. And that can divide in there. So this would be equal to i plus 3j divided by the square root of 10. And that would then be the tangent unit vector uh, when t is equal to 2. Now, let's see. Does that make sense? Because after all, that should be equal to 1. The magnitude of that should be equal to 1. So let's check. Let's do a quick check. And so we'll take the magnitude of the i component and the magnitude of the j component. So we then say the uh, unit vector. We're looking for the value of that when the t is equal to 2. So we'll go ahead and put in a parameter. And so that would be equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 10 quantity squared plus 3 over the square root of 10 quantity squared and let's see if that does indeed equal 1 
So that would be equal to the square root of 1 over 10 plus 9 over 10, which is equal to the square root of 10 over 10, which, of course, is equal to 1. And sure enough, that shows that this is indeed a tangent unit vector because, first of all, it's parallel to the derivative of the position vector, which makes it parallel to the curve. And secondly, the magnitude of it is equal to 1. So it looks like it checks out. And that's how it's done.